Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to make simple edits using Adobe Lightroom. For this brief video, I will only be going over how to make quick edits of the light, color, and size of the picture. For starters, we will need to open up Lightroom. Once Lightroom is open, we will need to import the photo we would like to use. As you can see right now, it has all photos that I've taken previously and that I've been working on. If you take a look at the top left corner, you will th see three tabs. Add photos, my photos, and sharing. If you go into my photos, you'll see a list of all different imports and albums that I've had. For this case, we will want to open up a new photo that's on our desktop. So click on Add Photos. Once there, you can find the location where you want to import the photo from. In my case, the pictures are on my desktop. Once you get pulled up to this screen, select Add Photo. Once the image you want to use is imported, you can take a look at the right side of Adobe Lightroom. Here you will see Edit, Crop and Rotate, Healing Brush, Brush, Linear Gradient, and Radial Gradient. For this case, we will only be using Edit and Crop and Rotate. Please note that you can see the shortcuts labeled E and C for these different edits. Once we open up Edit, we can see the different light, color, effects, detail, optics, and geometry for this image. Keep in mind that every image is going to be affected in different ways when you change the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, etc. From here, you can play around with what you think will be best. In this case, I'll go through and make a quick edit. Once you're satisfied with how the image looks, go over to Crop and Rotate or use your shortcut C. From here, you can change the angle and the size of the image. For my case, I'm going to take off this lock button right here so that I can change the format, the ratio of the image. As you can see, I'm cropping it as close as I can without cutting a lot of the image out. If you'd rather keep it in a particular style or ratio, go over here, click on custom, and you can change it to whatever you want. For me, I keep it on custom so that I can change it to the way I want. Now that I've gotten the image about where I want, I'm going to go back and see if I need to edit it anymore. Once you are done with your edits, you can now save the image to wherever you want. For me, I'm going to save it onto my desktop. My photo is now saved onto my desktop and I can upload it or share it wherever I'd like. Thank you for watching.